Bonjour, hello, je m'appelle Jordan Cantwell, moderatrice de l'Église Unie du Canada. My name is Jordan Cantwell, I'm the moderator of the United Church of Canada, and I'm standing here in El Salvador in the chapel where Monsignor Oscar Romero was assassinated in 1980. I've just spent the last three days in a conference for peace and reconciliation in El Salvador with 17 others from the United Church of Canada. El Salvador is a land where Christ is crucified every day and where Christ is resurrected in the people every day. This is a, a people and a land that knows viscerally the story of Holy Week, the story of Good Friday, the story of Holy Saturday, the, the waiting, the longing, the, the despair, the time of, of dreams having been crushed, but that lives, that lives the truth of Easter Sunday, the truth of the resurrection in their hope in their commitment to the gospel, in their commitment to peace and reconciliation in this land of beauty and brokenness. The martyrs here in El Salvador are very present. When we say in our creed, we are not alone, we live in God's world, that resonates here in a way we probably never imagined. We are not alone, we live amidst a cloud of witnesses, a cloud of martyrs, those who have given their whole lives to the truth of the gospel, to the salvation of the people, the liberation of the land and all God's people. That is where I am standing as I speak to you today to offer a word of hope and encouragement for Holy Week and for Easter. And I want to tell you that this conference that I have attended, this conference on peace and reconciliation, was brought together through the churches here in El Salvador, but the idea came to them from Miguel Tomas Castro, who was inspired when he first started to hear about truth and reconciliation in Canada, and then when he was here in Cornerbrook at General Council 42 when he was hearing about the, the outcomes of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and was so inspired by, by that process and, and heard in that a hopefulness for El Salvador. He heard in that a process that might begin to bring the healing, the truth-telling that needs to happen here. He saw in that a path that could be carved in El Salvador, a way forward. And so we have been profoundly inspired and moved and struck by the connections between our own reality in Canada, the work that we have to do, the path of reconciliation that is before us, and the work for peace and reconciliation that is going on here, that needs to happen here, our stories are interconnected, our realities are one. This is the hope and the promise of Easter. And may it be so for you. May it be so for us and for El Salvador. May it be so for this world that God loves.